Hey, what's up guys? Playful Desk here with a new Call of Duty video, COD 4. And this, uh, I was I was deciding, eh, I'm gonna try try my hand at quick scoping. I haven't, I haven't done it in a while. Uh, so I decided, eh, I, might, I might just try it. And this is gonna be like my first video in a few days, so it's a nice little comeback. And I'm really happy and grateful that my last video got over the look at that look at that nice no scope to deagle switch uh and i'm going to be talking a lot about my call of duty for history this match but i was really grateful look at that look at that look at that shit he had juggernaut on a bitch i would have got a kill two times uh but anyways uh yeah i was really really happy really happy that i got over the amount of Look at this, and then look at this shit. Look at what happened. Look at that shit. Guy running around underneath the map. I mean, is that bullshit or what? Especially did, since he didn't do it a legit way. Uh, I soon found out that those letters up at the top, all that websites and stuff, uh, means that he is activating his hack, aka mod, whatever you want to call it, and he was pretty much beastifying my team until I do something to him that really, really pisses him off and makes him single me out for pretty much the rest of the match. And look at my pro quick scoping skills. And don't talk shit about it if I quote I'm I'm quoting with my fingers right now, hard scope, because I can't really do those quick scopes that you see on like Grizz, Optic, Darth Empire. All those extremely as soon as you scope scope in quick scopes, simply because of the fact that I have connection issues, which is three bar, and it it will not allow me. I. It'll be pretty much. Look at that shit. Look at that bullshit under the map again. Same spot. But what I've come to notice is, it pretty much counts it as a no scope for me if I try to shoot as soon as I scope down sight. Like I see lots of quick scopers and trick shotters do on you. Look at that no scope. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. I tried doing a double one, but didn't work too well. So I chase him with my view. But yeah, pretty much. On no Call of Duty game can I quickscope as good and proficiently as any other player that has 4 bar. Uh, so yeah, that's addressing that. But now, let's go after my Call of Duty 4 history. Call of Duty 4, as most of you guys may not know, is where I first started Call of Duty. Uh, I first got Xbox Live because like I said, I'm just going to hook up this Ethernet cable to my 360 and I wonder if it'll let me connect to online if I can actually talk to other people. So I didn't even have a mic or anything. I, I did it with Far Cry Instincts Predator a long ass time ago. And I mean, that was a, such a new experience. And then later on I ended up getting Halo 3 for Christmas. And then, no, I got Halo 3 release date because I was so psyched for it because I had played all the other ones. And then when I played that online, I, I fell in love immediately. And then I remember everybody like, I see everybody on my friends list, COD4, 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 and I would be in party chats with them, no, not party chats, I'd be in just regular chat with them, since there wasn't party chats back then, and I would be like, dude, what's what's so good about Call of Duty, what's the shit about that? And I'm like, dude, Halo will, will always be my favorite, nothing will ever make me stray away from Halo. And then, but I didn't know what I was missing. Then I finally get to pick up Call of Duty 4 for Christmas that year, and, uh, I immediately fell in love. I didn't ditch Halo, per se, but I definitely fell more in love with Call of Duty 4 than I was ever in love with Halo, even though Halo was like my first online shooter, besides Far Cry. I guess my first one I really got competitive on. And I was actually the shit at Halo before I started playing Call of Duty and pretty much gave up Halo. Uh, but then, COD 4, I mean, I was addicted to that. I mean, I could not stop playing it. I. And I would go through phases on that game. I'd be, I'd play domination. I'd play team deathmatch. I'd play, and then I go into, and then I remember I went into this long ass, probably like four month phase of just playing search. And then, that I mean that was amazing. And that was when like, around the time that the map pack came out, and like the map pack. I mean, that that's gotta be my favorite map pack of all time. I mean it's got Creek broadcast, Kill House, which I didn't like, and Chinatown. Chinatown was. I mean, I love that map. Lots of people hate it, but I loved it. And it made me fall in love with the game even more. And then, when I fell in love with Search, was like, I fell in love with just the tactical, slow-paced 
methodical thinking aspect of it before we got all these rushers once Modern Warfare 2 came out, which, I mean, it just ruined Search and the quickscopers. It, it honestly ruined Search. Like, all you little kids that haven't played, that didn't play COD 4 and World at War when they first came out, and that, I'm not insulting you, I'm simply saying, you guys don't know how the game was played back then before you started this quickscoping phase and stuff. Even though it wasn't little kids, but it's pretty much the little kids that all wanted to be the next pro quickscoper, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You guys think it's awesome. I thought quickscoping was awesome. I went into a little phase. But I'm just saying, the whole community of quickscoping ruined the tactical aspect of Search. And don't hate on me for that, because I know lots of you guys, loads of you guys love quickscoping. But you just gotta hear me out. COD 4 and Wor World at War, Search and Destroy, there's nothing like that experience from back then. Uh, but yeah, and then towards the end of COD 4, I I started playing hardcore, hardcore, if, if that makes sense. But yeah, seriously, I, I hardcore got into hardcore playlist. It's like hardcore team deathmatch match all the time. Because of the fact that I had these friends that I met, that I met up with, that I didn't, that I found out they were, ended up being really cool. Look at Lee FSU, pro quickscoper on the roof. Uh, and they actually got me, they are really good at hardcore, and they taught me so much stuff, like spawn tonight, spawn everything, and that's when I started getting even more addicted to Call of Duty, even though I didn't think I could, but I actually was more addicted then than my search and destroy phase. So, yeah, that is my little spiel and my little history about this game that you guys are seeing right now, COD 4. And it'll always have, like, a little special place in my heart. Not, not a little special place, but quite a big special place, and there's actually quite a, quite a lot of memories on uh, that game for me. Like, <laughs> I know this is nerdy, but lots of my best memories of my life are from COD 4. Not lots of them. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying like I have no life, but I had, I have, I've had lots of good memories, but quite a few of them. And I'm not saying most of them, but a good sh portion of my good memories are from COD 4 and definitely a huge portion of my good video game memories are from this game COD 4. I mean it, it was just such a new new style of game for me. I'd never played anything this competitive and I mean it was just amazing. I couldn't get enough. But yeah, uh, I, I started out making this video because of the fact that I wanted to showcase this faggot hacker on here. But I guess it turned into kind of like the history, my my his my Call of Duty history. Uh, so I guess I'm going to. This is going to be a new series, guys. I didn't even I didn't even think of it until a little bit ago. So I'm definitely going to make this into a new series. The next episode is going to be a World at War gameplay. And oh, right here I was celebrating about how I finally killed Lee FSU, and this is when he fucking just goes after me. Look at that shit. I guarantee he just teleported right there. He didn't even know where the fuck he was at first. He just turns around and shoots my ass. So then I'm like, bitch, motherfucker, get no scope, son of a bitch. But then look at this shit. Look at this shit. I like, I like take this guy down, and then all of a sudden, boom, I'm, I don't know what the fuck. Like, there's no chance for me right there, so he just rapes my ass. And then I come up here to try to chuck a nade on the roof at him, and he rapes my ass again. I mean, it was ridiculous. Uh, so, the rest of this match was just pretty much me going after him, him going after me, him getting more kills on me than me getting killed on him, obviously because he's got the fucking height advantage and an AK. Nigga talking shit, nigga talk to the AK. It's a little song. Um, yeah, definitely, next, next upload is going, or I might make a different video and then, but you guys will know by the title, it'll be like, my call video game history part one uh, and then I guess I'll make one with World at War and then Modern Warfare 2 and then one with Black Ops even though I don't even have any memories on Black Ops to tell the truth I'm, I'm sure I could dig up a few memories but nothing was as great as the previous three Call of Duty that I played nothing can compare Black Ops broke my heart my achy breaky heart look at that pro headshot but then he get he like this was fastest ever. He like appears here instantly and kills me. But yeah, that's pretty much just about the end of the match because of the fact that he kills me. So 
you know, the, I do the unthinkable. Well, not the unthinkable. Anybody in their right mind would do this. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy my totally unpredictable move I do for the end. But yeah, definitely maybe give this video a thumbs up because I went a little bit into my personal life. Well, not personal life, but my gaming life. More into my life. So please give it a thumbs up, would you kindly? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, bye.